Before we get started with the main part of the video that I filmed at the range, I uh, just wanted to say a couple things here. Please just watch it all the way through the end and you'll get the whole gist of what I'm talking about here. And one thing I wanted to mention in the video but forgot is that you know a lot of people say you know uh, the second memo is just meant for hunting you just need a, you know, a basic hunting rifle double barrel shotgun what have you I'm not a hunter I don't hunt never have most likely never will unless something crazy happens and I have to hunt to eat you know all the salad bars have disappeared gotta hunt a deer this kind of drives my point that I'm not really the typical gun owner that a lot of people would imagine. Um, I'm really an animal lover. Like I said, not a hunter. I've got a dachshund that I'm sure you've seen in videos before. And we just got a new kitten. Four months old, little baby male cat. And uh, that's another topic for another video. I'm gonna do just kind of a vlog type of video. Uh, you know, like my hobbies, that's kind of the gist of this channel, more or less. My hobbies are very uh, varied across the board. I like guns, I like computers. As you can see here, I've got the Mac. And I've got my other screen here. Sometimes I have the Mac extended onto this. Sometimes I have it running off the dock with my Dell XPS 15 laptop here. All right, now I've been editing. Just wanted to add this to the beginning of the video. Uh, so yeah, I'm very much a tech geek as well as a gun geek and I'll be doing another video on this I'm sure you've seen the video on my iPad Pro 10.5. I got the uh, Smart keyboard Apple smart keyboard. That's another topic for another day as well Let's get into the main video here And if you see somebody on the news talking about AR-15s and they are an expert and you see them with the rifle and you got the you know buttstock extended all the way out and they're they all up like this don't believe them especially when they've got the amateur news reporter and he's shooting like this If you see that, do me a favor, turn your TV off immediately, turn your phone off, turn that clip off. They don't know what they're talking about. Welcome back to the channel. While this may come as a shock to some of you, for those that have been around a while on this channel, won't be shocked. And that's right, I'm not your typical gun owner. Some may think I am, some may think I'm not. But it's not often that I come out here and see anybody else in a Grateful Dead shirt. It's a little cold right now, although it's spring, it's like there's frost on the ground. I don't know what the deal is. Last weekend it was 80 degrees and I was grilling out. This weekend I'm all bundled up and sniffly. In the summer, you'll see me out here with shorts, flip-flops, tie-dye. I don't look like a typical gun owner, especially when I roll up shooting something like this at the range here. The media would have you believe that any NRA member, any gun owner, is just some bloodthirsty hick, redneck. Uh, if you've ever seen King of the Hill, they depict the Dale Gribble character, the guy right there, as your typical gun owner. That is not the case. Just a couple of examples. Uh, one being Junk Food Zombie, who you've seen quite a bit on this channel here. I would say he is your typical gun owner. He is a lot like me and uh, a lot of our political beliefs. We tend to uh, fall more towards a libertarian sort of a mindset. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you don't bother me, I don't care what you do. It's your life. Go live it the best you uh, know how. Another guy I work with, fellow libertarian, proud libertarian, he got into uh, not a discussion, just a conversation one day. I was in his office, one of our other fellow co-workers 
really hardcore conservative kind of guy, big Trump supporter about um, you know gun rights and all that, and uh, the issue of transgender people showed up. He said, you know, one of the best shooters he was ever taught how to shoot was a transgender person, born a man, uh, is now a female. And he's like, well, why would you want to teach them how to shoot? And I said, well, out of all the people, who would need to know how to defend themselves more? Johnny Redneck over here or Transgender Sally? Think about that. Just like in the 60s, uh, Martin Luther King, civil rights leader, civil rights advocate, uh, applied for a carry permit, from what I understand, and he was denied. Who would need a carry permit more at that time than a black person in the 60s, at the height of the uh, civil rights era? So there you have it, kind of boils down to it's ultimately about freedom. You can't expect to have your freedom unless you want everybody to have their freedoms. If I want the rights to own this AR-15, which I believe the Second Amendment guarantees me the right to do that, with a 30-round magazine, 60, 100, whatever, put a belt-fed upper on this thing if I want to. Uh, if I want those rights to do that, why am I going to try and restrict the rights from somebody else? So, there you have it. Just a uh, short, simple video today about not all gun owners are what the media would have you believe. In some ways, I feel like it's a personal attack trying to make people believe that all gun owners are that way when I'm not. I carry a gun everywhere I legally can. Got one on me right now. Little Glock 26. I don't carry it because I'm out looking for blood or I'm out looking to stop a mass shooting because I know, in all honesty, the chances of me stopping a mass shooting or even being near a mass shooting are very, very slim. I've probably got a better chance of getting struck by lightning out here right now and it's not really cloudy than I do uh, getting involved in a mass shooting. The reason I carry a gun is for my protection and the protection of my family. Anybody else? I'm sorry. My life comes first. I've got my son to take care of, my wife to take care of, although she's pretty scrappy. She can handle herself. But that's why I carry a gun. So, thanks for watching, and always remember, it's truly about freedom. Never give that up. And another thing, it seems like all of my hobbies and interests are under attack. Cigars, they want to tax them to death. FDA wants to regulate them. No new cigar blends. Guns, gun bans, assault weapons bans. Raise the buying age to 60. You gotta be 60 before you buy a gun. It's craziness.